There are special x-ray views to identify bony pathologies related to traumatic anterior dislocations of the shoulder. The two most important bony pathologies are the bony bank heart lesions in the anterior glenoid and the hill sex defect in the posterior superior aspect of the humerus. The West Point view is used to identify the bony bank heart lesions on the x-ray. It first requires the patient to be in a prone position with their shoulder abducted to 90 degrees, with the arm resting on the pillow to keep the humerus level. Now, using this blue cylinder to represent the X-ray cathode and the red line to illustrate the direction of the X-ray beams, we can see that the cathode has to be first tilted 25 degrees relative to the longitudinal axis and then 25 degrees lateral from the midline of the spine. This will mean that the resulting image, which will be viewed from the opposing end of this, will look like this, where the indentation from the bony bank heart lesion can be identified by a sharp change in angle in the anterior glenoid. Other structures that can be seen are the acromion, the humeral head, the clavicle, and the coracoid. The striker notch view is used to identify hill sex defects. It requires the patient to be in a supine position with a fully flexed shoulder and elbow with some internal rotation to allow the hand to be rested on the head. The x-ray cathode is positioned 10 degrees cephalad and the resulting image from the opposing side will show the hill sex defect as a notch in the lower lateral border of the humeral head. And other structures that can be seen include the spine of the acromium, the acromium itself, the coracoid, and the clavicle.